Hello, class. So everybody knows what a bond is, right? That's right, a bond is a kind of loan. And the yield on the bond is the amount of money that the bondholder, the lender, gets in interest every month. So a high yield bond then is one that pays out a lot of interest every month, or at least more than your regular bonds do. But the term high yield is about more than just the amount of money that the bond pays. It's about the bond's rating. That is, the assessed ability of the company to pay back the money that it's borrowed when it sells that bond to the public. And of course, its ability to make those key monthly interest payments. It's a bit like rating kids on their attendance at class. The kid that always shows up on time gets three stars. If you put your money on her being at school every day for the next year, you're almost certainly going to win that bet. The kid that's always sleeping in or coming down with something, on the other hand, well, there's a big risk that on any given day, his chair might be empty. It's the same with companies. Those that are highly likely to pay back their debts are given three A's. Because the risks to lending to them are low, they don't have to pay so much interest on their bonds. And companies that have a less than stellar record in paying down their debt or have issues in their businesses that make it tough for them to make those key monthly payments, they're simply riskier, which means that the bonds that they sell to the public come with lower ratings, all the way down through the Bs, all the way down to C. And the fact is that the lenders who lend to these companies by buying their bonds, well, they're taking bigger risks, so they get bigger rewards in the form of higher yields. Now, the ratings agencies who assess these companies and their bonds do so in slightly different ways. This is the Standard & Poor's rating scale, but all the agencies divide borrowers into two main groups. The more secure companies, above the line, are called investment grade. The riskier companies, below the line, are called non-investment grade, also leveraged, and also high yield, because, as we've seen, riskier companies have to pay more in interest, so their lenders receive a higher yield. A lot of high-yield companies are owned by private equity firms. And I know they're not all evil, but we can have a little bit of fun. And some are so-called fallen angels, which means they used to be investment-grade companies, but they've fallen on hard times, kind of like this poor fella here. Now, sometimes high-yield companies and high-yield bonds are referred to as junk. Why junk? Because they're risky. So if you buy a high-yield bond, you're going to be well-rewarded, but you risk losing all of your investment. And some people do. But of course, because of the higher yields, you can make a lot of money. And some people do. So maybe junk isn't such a bad name for these investments, because after all, one lender's trash can be another investor's treasure. What's in here? Oh my god, is that a watch? That is a watch. Is that a Rolex?